Hello everyone and welcome back to DGRC and in today's video we have the HPI Jumpshot Flux and today we're going to put the 2S LiPo in it, the 3S LiPo on it on this road here. We're going to find out how fast it goes, just a quick speed run and then we're going to take it into the woods, get some sort of off-road footage with it, see how well it performs and then we're going to take it to some brilliant jumps I know and we're going to find out how good this thing is at jumping. So I think what we need to do is get a montage of the car. Let's go. Okay then, so let's put the, the battery in and calibrate the ESC and then let's find out how fast it can go. So the battery on these, nice and simple, going underneath here. So once you've got the battery in to calibrate it, you have to hold down the setup button, turn it on. You'll hear it bib, bib, beep, <laughs> sorry. And then just press the setup button once for neutral, full throttle, press setup again, and then full brake, setup again. And then that will literally be calibrated now. So let's get the speed GPS mounted inside. I don't actually have any sticky tape with us today, so hopefully um, we can find somewhere just to stick it for now. I think we can probably tuck it in behind here somehow. And then we put it back on, should be good. Steering servo is very fast, which is good. There we go. Put the body back on. Okay then, so we have our Sky RC GPS in the car and let's hit track and then start. Okay then, so let's find out how fast it goes with the 2S LiPo in. Okay, so let's uh, stop it here then. So it did 37 mile an hour. So that's on the 2S, time to put the 3S in and find out how fast it goes. Okay then, so 37 mile an hour on the 2S LiPo is a lot quicker than I actually thought this would go. And this is actually really smooth, especially on road here. So I'm looking forward to finding out how fast it goes with the 3S battery and then taking this into the woods and seeing how good it is there. So once we get this 3S in, like so. <laughs> let's see before we flip it over did it go any faster it did 43 before it took off so that's it i'm not doing another speed run but let's find out oh look at the 75 <laughs> it's not too bad to be fair okay then guys so there we go a 2s lipo battery is going to do 37 mile an hour a 3s lipo is going to get 43 and take off i suppose the problem with this is obviously um, how fairly realistic it is with the big 
open front end there's too much air going to get underneath that obviously this isn't made for doing a speed run obviously it's going to be made for jumping and in the woods but i thought it might just be quite cool because a lot of people like to know how fast these rc cars can go i'm knackered from running down the, <laughs> down the road there so um yeah let's jump in the woods then and let's find out what this thing's actually made for <laughs> Okay then, so as you can see, this thing is super dusty from being at the track, but uh, the good thing is, is none of these fins or anything's too badly broken. I think on the back here, actually, we do have a couple of uh, broken bits, just where that body's hitting off the uh, off the wide rear bumper there. But yeah, no, it's good. Underneath as well. Um, underneath as well, none of the uh, wishbones or drive shafts up here seem to be bent so that's really good shocks aren't leaking so yeah i'm happy with that obviously it's just scraped up a bit from where it's doing some jumps but um nope it definitely uh survived okay then guys so that's the video there so let's just do a quick summary this car is fantastic it's a lot faster than i thought as well i didn't think it was going to be that quick uh through the woods and at the track we were just using the 2s battery and it loves it it's so smooth it jumps really well obviously a lot of rc cars nowadays they're all four-wheel drive this obviously still being a two-wheel drive you can have so much fun when you kick it into one of them berms you're kicking all the dust up you can drift them so well so yeah i've definitely liked this um i think we need to get this out and take it to some uh, bigger jumps there's a there's a bigger bmx track we have we have here in town um a lot of karens there they don't like rc cars and that so maybe we should take it up there and uh see if they enjoy it as much as what i do so yeah that's the video then guys thank you for watching if you've enjoyed please drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe because of coming up next we've got a trx4 i've been wanting this rc car for well over a year now so we've finally got one we're going to take that out and get it through the woods thanks guys for watching